Hello and welcome to iRacing in VR. Here we are again in the VRS GT Sprint and we are at Interlagos in Brazil. So, uh, let's get to the rolling start and see how we get on in this one. Okay, let's see what sort of death awaits us at the first corner. Hmm, left side. nothing. Okay, well we'll have that space. Oh, we'll Still have that space there. as well, thanks very much. Your left is clear. Right then. Qualified eighth. Car number nine. 40 minutes. Hold your line. Coming back Clear through. The okay, side. no problem. I'm in the Ferrari today. Hoping for a fairly clean race. Don't tend to have many problems at Interlagos. Oh, someone does though. I've gone. That was a crash, buddy. Watch your right. We're clear on the right. Audi coming through in a hurry. Last time out, we were at Brands, where we got 5x before the green flag. There's another guy coming off, coming back on at a slightly awkward angle, but we've got round that. Oh, oh, ho, ho. Well, that was a really good save. B9. That Audi could have gone headfirst into any of those walls, but he managed to keep it together. Hmm, it's got a bit of a problem with uh, where the track is, though. Anyway, let's settle into it, find a groove, work at it. In the warm-up, the practice, the is now not it was um, sort of twilight and everybody had their headlights on. Oh, another one gone. Two, really, if you count that Ferrari. Yeah, it was all sort of twilight and dusky and everybody had their lights on and stuff and you think oh that'd be nice little, little dark race at Interlagos but there's not many lights around this track not many at all now that corner there is the only one which really can ruin my race but I think I've got the hang of it. The leader's just done a 132.60. P8, you've just done a 134.55. This is alright, decent start. People in front are making moves. Walter is gaining on you. The gap is now 0 0.40. I'm sure something's going to happen. I'll just sit back and see what develops. Nothing so far. 
Audi's making another play. Audi's making everyone nervous. Okay, Thomas. Thomas is off again. Let's get past Thomas. You got a car on your right side. Right side's clear. The leader has just done 131.86. It's got a problem with um, concentration and keeping it between the lines. Seventh position. On the left. He's still there. Clear left. Left side. Hold that line. Still there. The left side is clear. Two Mercedes sneaking past. And Thomas is behind us in his Audi, so expect him to barge his way up. This little group just gathering in front of us. Oh. oh, crikey! Come on, turn in. Here he comes. You got a car on the left side. There. Thomas track limits is easy and past. Don't give up, keep him under pressure. For a second, I thought he might tip the media. Top 10 finish will do me. I know I started 8th, but a top 10 finish will do me. Thomas is looking at this lot and licking his lips, I think. How many people can he barge past? He's trying to go quite deep into a corner so he can get a nice early run out. The leader's just done it on 31.65. Oh, 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 there they go, there they go, there they go. Down your left, your left is clear. Okay, let's get around them. Completely inevitable that at some point two cars in that group are going to get it wrong.
Well, Thomas and Nico are fighting a bit further up. Okay, Matt, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. P8, that was a 134.16. That was a shocking corner. Thomas and Nico are. The gap in front is now 1.0. Just a couple of tenths apart, so expect something to happen there. understeer in that corner which is not great that lap was at 133.66 So far, so good. Oh, Christ. So far, so good. This isn't too bad. We're maintaining the equilibrium, the status quo. going to do it, we're going to do it here. Hold your line. Sometimes we're people are their absolute own worst enemy. Clear left. Oh, now I'm off track. Left side. You are clear on the left side. Oh, Matt, track limits, come on. Oh, well, that's my first 1x. B11. Hooray! Who has done it in this time? Oh, oh, another two of all oh, three of them. On your left, we're clear on the left side. Okay, I'm in. Let's get out of here. Same corner as before. Cars turning in, cars coming up the inside, and again, that is exactly what I was saying though on the last lap. That's. Uh, oh. Drivers just think, oh, I'll have a little look up the inside here, and there really is no overtaking space at all. You've got to know the track. You've got to know which corners are going to present you a decent run. All these cars are very evenly matched. Well, with a bit of luck, they'll get into each other behind us and start to drop off. Time was at 133.41. Sector 2 is 1.2 of the pace. He's on your left. 
He's still there. Your left side is clear. Come on, Matt. Oh, don't panic. We'll get him back. Now, I've always wondered what it'd be like to drive a lot of these tracks in reverse and the ironic thing is with Interlagos is this bit that we're on now did actually used to go the other way when Interlagos was much bigger the main straight that we just came down was actually going the opposite direction as was most of this bit of the track that's half fuel you've used half your fuel So quite a clever bit of track repurposing by the owners. And as you're going down that main straight, the main straight that you used to go down is off to the right. In front is now 2.7 seconds. Okay. We'll fuel you to the end of the race. Now I want to try and undercut the guys ahead because they're only about four seconds ahead. And hopefully, if they keep quite close together, they can slow each other down and I can take advantage in this pit stop. And I'm also pitting a little bit early. I've just been passed by two guys. Uh, one of which is Thomas Track Limits. I'm kind of hoping that, well, they've got a pit. So I'm hoping that I might be able to gain one or two places from a strategic pit stop. Just keep things together. Try not to spin. That's always been my problem before when I started to fart about the pit strategy. I've been quite clever with it and then I've gone and spun. Okay, so far so good. together one more time it's been pretty steady stuff the last quarter of an hour 20 minutes but nobody threatening from behind us we're not going to be catching the two guys in front or Jaeger Jaeger Pasco private eye Chief talking out of his backside again. Well, overall, this has been satisfactory. I said a top 10 place would do. Uh, it's just going to be a top 10 place, going to be ninth, which means I'll have lost a place over the course of the race, but um, that's okay. Pit strategy didn't quite work, guys in front managed to come back out in front, but the guys who had yet to pit did pit, so I ended up 
going pretty much nowhere. But there we go, ninth place. That's pretty good. I don't mind that. And I think just the one X. There's the checkered flag. Let's pull over and check those numbers. So it should be P9 1X. Fingers crossed that would do my safety rate in the world of good. Yep, 1X, very nice. And there it is. Thanks for watching.